Come on out and help me demonstrate 3700X. I can do that. Hey. All right, Robert, what are we going to show? So we've got Cinebench R20 running, and I was thinking back to my time as a reviewer looking at AMD's K7 and K8 architectures a long time ago. And we've used Cinebench for over 15 years to reliably and quickly test the performance of a processor. And now we're on Cinebench R20, which came out just last month. And what you'll see on your right is the Ryzen 7 3700X versus on the left, the Core i7-9700K. And as we churn through this realistic, ray-traced scene, you may notice that the Ryzen 7 3700X is uh, quite a bit faster. In fact, it's about one-third faster than the competing part. And that's really a testament to the compute performance of Zen 2 and the density that the 7 nanometer Zen 2 architecture brings to a chip. Fantastic. And uh, it, it's just a monster performance. And I think if content creators really, really want something special, that's just 65 watts. This is a beautiful, beautiful part. And uh, uh, our competitor is still going. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll just let that tick through. Are we done? <laughs> Almost there. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Okay. It takes a little while. All right, there All we right. are. All right. Robert,